So here's the thing. Um, CNN, their whole perspective on uh, dealing with the Trump thing was basically, we need to make a, a billion dollars this year. <laughs> and uh, how are we going to do it? Well, it's really difficult to find people who can come on air to defend Donald Trump in any situation. So let's hire Corey Lewandowski, who wor literally worked slash is working for Trump, and we will have him on our air as a uh, Trump surrogate. We're bound to find another guy <laughs> that we can pay who would be having no career, but now is be, you know would be a famous guy. And that guy, they, they ended up calling Jeffrey Lord. Now, I think that's his real name. That's not a stage name. It is his real name. And he's now, of course, very well known um, because before this, he did, I don't know, did he have a job? Was he I, I know, like a snowbird? He just, I think the first time he did it was like he needed somebody to pay for his Palm Beach flight up to, I have no idea. But, um, here he is. Uh, they've hired Jeffrey Lord to basically always be the guy who can justify what the president is doing or attempt to because they can't find anybody else. Let's be honest. On a consistent basis, it's just too hard for the bookers to find somebody who's going to come and provide that, and you need the argument. You need the argument because you don't want it to get too one-sided. And... You know, so Donald Trump's always checking in. How's Jeffrey Lord doing? So here is Anderson Cooper. Now, Anderson Cooper does not hire the contributors. Anderson Cooper, I guess, theoretically, he could he could resign if you're going to have Jeffrey Lord here. I don't know. I don't know. That seems unlikely to me. But here is uh, Jeffrey Lord um, trying to justify uh the president referring to Comey as a nut job to the Russians. Was there a call for a special right. prosecutor? Right. Is there a call for? Right. No. Was, was there an investigation by the FBI? Agent. Was there a special That's counsel? Up. No, and no, and no. And so I know. I mean, I know you got to bring up Obama every time, or you you know got to bring up somebody else. I, I gotta, I gotta because you can't fairness, really defend it in all fairness. fairness. You can't defend what the president of the United States just said. I don't care. I mean, I don't. I don't care what he says to the Russian prime to the, the Russians. I, I mean, okay. he's the president of the United States. If right. he wants to say that, Barack Obama wants to say whatever. Right. If George Bush says, I looked in his if eyes and thought he took a dump on his desk, you would defend it. Say it. <laughs> what? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what he would do that you would not a defend. Anderson, I mean, I, you're Anderson you're a loyal guy. I I, I think that speaks well of you. But I Anderson, uh, this this is offending Eastern media elite sensibilities. Right here in America, they'll think, yeah, the okay. FBI director was a nut job. Okay. And worse, look, right. he's not. All right. Now, first off, we should say that Anderson Cooper uh, subsequently apologized for being uh, that explicit. Um, Jeffrey Lord did not apologize for pretending that he wasn't part of the Eastern liberal uh, media elite uh, with his shiny blue tie and his four hundred dollars. I don't know how the five thousand. Oh, I don't know how much the suits cost, but I'm sure it's expensive. Um but here's the thing. Uh, a, of course, Jeffrey Lord would defend the president taking a dump on the desk. They would probably say that was like uh, his way of saying we're not doing things the old way anymore. They would say LBJ is precedent. Right. There you go. But the reason why Jeffrey Lord is there is not because he was, and let me see what he, he used to do, it's not because Jeffrey Lord is some brilliant uh, political uh, analyst. Uh, it's not because he was a press aide in the Pennsylvania State Senate or that he worked uh, for Pennsylvania Congressman Bud Schuster as a legislative director uh, in, in the 80s. Or that he had some pieces in the Harrisburg Patriot News, a couple other places. Uh, it is because he's willing to go on and say that. Now, I got news for you. There's no such thing on the left. 
there is no there is no place where you can go and you can get hired if you say that. I mean, I guess I don't know. People are gonna be like, well, what about Jimmy Dore on TYT? He would defend, you know. Well, it's not the same because he's not CNN's not, not calling him. No, no. There's no there's no cable outlet news you can get on to go and just like talk out of your 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 ass if in any way it's perceived as benefiting anybody on the left. You don't, you don't get hired. Well, Face that. the Nation works with David Harsanyi of The Federalist, but there's no, like, Jacobin contributor right. working on Face the yeah. Nation. No. That's also not going to happen. So uh, there it is. Um, CNN doesn't have to hire him if they really believe that this guy would defend uh, President Trump, um, even if he took a dump on his desk. That's probably why he's still there. If they could exploit that, though, and, like, feed them a fake story that he has to defend and then it turns out that he defends it and then they go to air saying look at him he would defend this fake thing that we made up it's quite possible that the bookers just to mess with jeffrey lord to see like what they get an email about like hey jeffrey we're gonna cover this story where um you know donald trump like uh ejaculated on a cookie in front of like the the danish the danish prime minister and he just writes back in the email what time's the hit? And then they pass around the email in the office, and then they write back, oh, that got bumped, because uh, we're going to talk about whatever. And he goes, okay. That's possible. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.